首先，我要代表英巧公司欢迎各位来到我们这一年一度的英巧的信息技术峰会。这是我们选择了深圳，在事隔八年以后，我们再次选择在深圳来举办这样的技术信息峰会。今天不让我们请到了我们的政府，我们的在座所有的客人，也是英巧公司有史以来和高层团队到了最整齐的一次。还有我们新的 CEO， 我们的总裁，我们整整个英巧高层团队昨天也在深圳开了一个会议，整个高层团队全部到齐了，所以这是我们非常重视这个活动。谢谢大家。I've been coming to China for Intel all through my career. The 30 plus years of uh, Intel presence in China. And we have about four and a half billion dollars US of investment. I think that's important. It's important that we have all of Intel in China. So we really build products and understand what a product means for China. We set an aggressive goal this year for ourselves. We said, as Renee and I took office, that we had missed the tapping. We were absent. As we exited this year, we set a goal. 40 million tablets, a 4x growth. But more than that, it's that innovation that we're going to bring. So I'm here today to show you that were a company of our work. Our first operating Sophia SOC. Now this one is on a development board, and you can see it here, this is the actual Sophia chip. But you know, I don't really like development boards. I spent enough time in the lab, I spent enough time around development boards as an engineer. I like real product. So I'm here to show you a working Sophia phone. This product is a product we announced. This product is a product we announced just four months ago. We have silicon out. We have working form factors. And just to show you, hopefully this will work. This is an operating system, uh, and it is actually functioning on Android. Four months, we're working silicon. We're on schedule to have this product in market end of this year. A series of products scheduled after this. The next one, this one's with 3G. The next one will have LTE. We'll continue to advance the LTE capabilities and the core capabilities in the Sophia product. This is a new product family. We announced it four months ago and it's real. What the world's really moving to is LTE. And so what we have today to show you is Intel's first CAT6 multi-mode LTE and TDLTE solution. And to demonstrate it, we've actually made a call to one of our key partners, Mr. Yang, CEO of Lenovo. <laughs> Hello, my wife. Uh, thank you for taking my phone call. I'm calling you on Intel's first 7260-based uh, modem phone. And it's ready for a Lenovo checkout. Thank you, Brian. So that's, that's a great news. We are very excited to participate of India. And the potential they have for something to uh, successfully manage our devices. But the very thing I want to tell you uh, today, Brian, I actually already had your first uh, something to success to India. So great. How do you can see it out in China? It's worked very well. Well, great. I'm glad you're pleased with it. The next area I want to talk to you about is around the Internet of Things. All of those devices that are out there sensing, all of those products that are out there 
detecting whatever's going on, whether it's traffic, whether it's temperatures and vibrations, so you can do something with it, so you can analyze it, so you can apply big data solutions. I'm here to announce Intel's gateway solutions for the Internet of Things market. And we actually have two versions here on display. And I'm going to do a little demo, hopefully. You know, we'll get the train moving. So we have some customers, partners using them already. And one example is Venomics. Venomics is a transportation company who's put these gateways and these sensors on all of their trucks. I'm going to try to train one more time because I really want to run the train. Okay, the train's just not going to work for me today. I knew this was going to happen to me eventually. At some point in my career as a demo person, it would fail. Um, I was an engineer, I'm trying to fix this in my mind right now. But the idea here is that these gateways are really critical to allowing uh, you to implement the Internet of Things. And what we're really working on now is creating end-to-end -end solutions. And the idea here is that you can not only track uh, what's going on in real time with the system, but you can build trends, you can apply big data analysis. Uh, all of these things are designed to let you really manage those sensors out in the place. I'm going to try one more time. As an engineer, uh, that's okay. Now i got to get my Now you know how I got to this position. I just never quit. I just keep going. <laughs> Somebody tells me no. <clears throat> so, enough on my toy train and my big one. I want to show you one other really creative, innovative uh, example around the Internet of Things. That is the TBS Clock. This is by a company that is local here in China. TBS Clock is made by Bessie. Hopefully this demo will work. And what they did was they took our Creative Sense developer kit apply it to a normal game that we've all played, but instead of using this joystick, I do have to use a quarter, I can now just use my hand to go out and move the claw and pick up, come on, I really want to get one of these. When I want to drop the claw, I simply close my hand. Some demos work. But something as simple as that can change people's experience in a simple game that we've all played for years and years and years. If you read some of the press this week, you also saw that we announced that we made some changes to Edison. Those changes were actually driven by the users themselves. And I'm here today to show you the new and improved Edison chip. Now what's new? We actually took feedback and we made some adjustments to it. People looked at Intel and said, we like the quark solution, but we like even more computing capability. So we went in and put in a dual core atom processor. And then production systems will become available in the second half of this year. But for those who are wondering, wondering, Edison is alive, well, and actually improved. The products you saw today, the investments we made in China, all across China, the R&D, manufacturing, and now this latest fund here in Shenzhen, are examples of how we are committed. But more than just a committee, commitment, how we believe that together, Intel and China can accelerate growth together. Shishi, and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Diane Bryant. So, unfortunately, my CEO, CEO
CEO knows much more Chinese than I do, so I am going to have to simply say good morning and thank you for joining me. We all love our devices, and I'll bet you have many yourself. You probably have a tab. You hopefully have a new two-in-one PC. You probably have a smartphone. Maybe your car has an in-vehicle in infotainment system. We can't live without our devices. But behind all of those devices is the data center. The data center is serving up content, making the connections, delivering those services. Our collective dependency on the data center is high, and it is growing. Within the data center, at Intel, we're focused on three big growth platforms. And those platforms are cloud, big data, and high-performance computing. Now, we need cloud computing for the masses for the enterprise data centers, for the telco service providers, for everyone that deploys and manages infrastructure in a data center. So, what is big data? Big data, it is certainly the latest industry buzzword, and the term is used to describe all kinds of things. It's used to describe the data itself, so the massive, massive growth in data that's coming from all the social media solutions like WeChat and Youku and Weibo. Uh, it's also the data that's coming from the billions and millions of connected Internet of Things devices. Big data is projected to be a $50 billion opportunity across hardware, software, and services by 2020. And thanks to the growth of standard high volume servers and solutions running on Intel architecture, the cost over the past 10 years of compute has declined 40%. The cost of storage has declined 90% fundamentally making big data solutions possible. Intel, we are the clear leader in process technology. We are more than a generation ahead of the rest of the industry. We have relentlessly pursued Moore's Law, the doubling of the number of transistors per area of silicon every two years, using innovative new materials, inventing new structures like 3D trigate transistors, and the results are ever higher performance at ever lower power. We've expanded our product line uh, into, from the Xeon general purpose computing family to uh, high performance computing with Xeon 5 and down into our Atom SOC product line as well. So we are in a period of tremendous transformation. It's a very exciting time to be in our industry. And we at Intel look forward to continuing to partner with China with the developer community to drive economic growth in the build out of cloud computing, big data solutions, and high performance computing. Thank you very much.